Now in part B, we've been asked to factorize f of x completely. Now we already know that x plus 4 is a factor of f of x, so that means that we know that f of x is identical to x plus 4 multiplied by another factor. This other factor is often called a quadratic factor. It's going to have an x squared term in it. There'll be other terms, possibly, but we know that it'll have an x squared term. So that's why it's called a quadratic factor. This factor is often called a linear factor. Well, we want to find out what this quadratic factor is. So in order to find that, the way that I do this is to divide both sides by x plus 4. So that quadratic factor, if I just label it with a question mark inside brackets, is going to be identical to doing f of x divided by x plus 4. And that really just guides me in now to what I'm going to do. So I'm going to give this a subtitle which is going to be for the quadratic factor. All right. Hopefully that will tell the examiner or reader what I'm doing. And for the quadratic factor then I'm going to need to divide x plus 4 into the cubic expression that we have up here. 2x cubed minus 3x squared minus 39x plus 20. So, hope you're familiar with algebraic long division. If not, I've got tutorials on this. Just look on my website for that. So, assuming that you're familiar with this, I'll take you through this one. What do you multiply x by to get 2x cubed? And it's 2x squared, so put that up at the top here. 2x squared. Multiply 2x squared with each of the terms here now. So 2x squared times x is 2x cubed. And then 2x squared times the 4 is 8x squared. So put that underneath here. And then what we need to do now is subtract these two expressions. So 2x cubed minus 2x cubed, that's 0. And then we have minus 3x squared minus plus 8x squared. So that is minus 11x squared. We bring down the next term here, minus 39x. Bring it down, so that's minus 39x. And we start all over again. What do you multiply this x by? to get minus 11x squared. And that be minus 11x. And that goes up here, minus 11x. Now we multiply the minus 11x with the x plus 4. So minus 11x times the x is minus 11x squared. And minus 11x times the plus 4, that's minus 44x. So we have that. What we do now is we subtract these two expressions from one another. So minus 11x squared minus minus 11x squared, that's 0x squared. Then we have minus 39x minus minus 44x, so that's going to be 5x. And then we bring down the plus 20. So we bring it down, put it behind the 5x, and we start all over again. What do we multiply x by to get 5x? And that would be 5. So that goes up the top here. There's 5. And then multiply the plus 5 with the x plus 4. So 5 times x, that's going to be 5x. And 5 times the 4, that's 20. And you'll notice that when we subtract these this time, because they're identical, that we get 0. That's the remainder. If we didn't get 0, we'd know we've made a mistake, because we already know that x plus 4 is a factor, so we expect to get no remainder. But what it does give us now is the quadratic factor, which is up here. So at this stage, 
we can now say that therefore f of x is identical to x plus 4 multiplied by the quadratic factor which is up here. So we have x plus 4 multiplied by the quadratic factor 2x squared minus 11x plus 5. Now the question said factorize f of x completely so that is a clue that this quadratic factor will most probably factorize again. We can split it into a two linear factors. We've already got the first linear factor here x plus 4 so just going to open up two more brackets there and at the beginning of each bracket would be say a 2x and then an x to give 2x squared. In the rear of the brackets we're going to select a minus 1 and a minus 5. I think you find that should work. We've got 2x squared minus 10x minus another x, that's minus the 11x and then minus 1 times minus 5, that gives the plus 5. So there we have it. f of x factorized and that brings us to the end of part b now and the end of the question.